Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video and as everyone and their mothers know at this point, there's this writer's strike that's currently going on in Hollywood right now. Um, so that means like any films or like films, productions, whatever that were like was in session, I guess or was, let me rephrase that, any project that was in the possession of being filmed or written or whatever process stays they were at has been halted due to these writer strikes but apparently that's not exactly 100% accurate per se I know you guys might be saying but you Phil you just said that everything that was in like production coming to a halt right now. Yes, that is true. Like 99.99999% But apparently there's this new film that Jenna Ortega's going to be in that's still going to do like it's still in con production. It continues to be in production regardless of the actor strike. The uh the strike that's going on in Hollywood. So let's uh get uh, into this article, shall we? So, most Hollywood productions are currently shut down due to actor strike, which was called last week. Um, yeah, last week. Um, Jenna Ortega's new film is one of the very few to set to continue productions through the Hollywood's actor strike. So the Screen Actors Guild, or the SAG AFTRA, began a strike last week. The union, which represents 160,000 act actors and performers, are seeking an increase in base pay and residuals in the age of streaming, along with safeguards against the unregulated use of article itali artificial intelligence in the industry. This means that many projects in Hollywood have currently paused production and will continue to do so until the strikes ends. However, Ortega's, John Ortega's uh, new film, Death of the Unicorn, an A24 production, has been given permission to restart production. The film stars Ortega and Paul Rudd as a father-daughter duo who run over a unicorn and will see work continue due to a SAG after giving approval to the continued production of films from studios or companies not represented by the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Was the acronym for that it is apparently AMPTP. A um the actors strike concise with the actor with the Writers Guild of America, WGW strike, which began on May 2nd and halted production of a number of projects. It marks the first time that the actors and writers in Hollywood had gone on strike simultaneously in over 60 years. Last week, June, exactly June 13th precisely, um, Cillian Murphy, Emily Blunt, and Robert Downey Jr., left the London premiere of Oppenheimer as the actor's strike begun, began. The event was brought forward by an hour so the cast could walk the red carpet. In response to the strike, uh, the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, who represents major Hollywood studios like Netflix and Disney, said that a strike is certainly not to overcome a strike is certainly not to overcome we hoped for as studios cannot operate without the performers that bring our TV shows and films to life. The union has regrettably chosen a path that will lead to financial hardship for countless thousands of people who depend on the industry. Okay, so... Long story short, I'm gonna read like 
rephrase my saying before, most productions has been halted in Hollywood. Not all. Because I did say all of at the beginning. And, um, the, uh, what? What's the movie with John Ortega and Paul Rudd? Um, Death of the Unicorn, which will star John Ortega and Paul Rudd, is one of the few productions that are still in production at this time, so. I probably would see this because I am a huge John Ortega fan and I have like massive respects for her, especially after like hearing her statement about how she is tired of Hollywood stereotyping strong badass women. I'm kind of um I got more respect for her as a person after I hear her that. Cause I honestly agree with those statements. I'll try to, if I can, give you guys a link to the video either in the, the end of this video or in the description of me talking about that subject if you guys are so interested in seeing it. Which is a video I highly recommend you guys watching as well. But, um, yeah, Death of the Unicorn. I'm, like I said, I might watch this, um, for sure. Because I got major respects for Jenna Ortega. Um, I mean, if you ask me what my thoughts are on the strike, I honestly don't have an opinion. I'm not a producer. I'm not an actor. I'm not someone in the Hollywood life. So, personally, like, I don't really have an opinion of it. Sure, that means, like, any show that could, like, or movie that is going to be made that I might be interested in might be delayed due to the strikes, sure. But in the meantime, I I got, like, a massive DVD collection physically. I got a few areas where I can, like, stream some of my favorite movies of the past from my favorite TV shows from the past. So, like, at the moment, until these strikes are over, like... I'm kind of good just, like, re-watching some of the old stuff. And the few new stuff that Hollywood might give out. Like, um, this Death of a Unicorn, Death of a Unicorn, Death of a Unicorn movie that's coming out. I don't know when, because they didn't give us a date. But, how do you guys feel about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. I will talk to you fellow mutants later.